Charlie Gagan speaking to you from San Francisco, California. Since 2012, I've enjoyed spending summers with you at Farm Street. And when I'm at Farm Street, I love to pray in that church. To me, it is so beautiful as a place of prayer. One of my favorite chapels is the St. Francis Xavier Chapel with the Charles Goldie painting of the death of Francis Xavier on the island of San Chan, facing the China coast. You know, Francis dreamed of bringing the faith to China, but as he lay dying, it would remain just a dream. Pope Francis has chosen the title, Let Us Dream, for his book discussing the church's path to a better future after the pandemic. Francis says, the question is whether we are going to come through the crisis, and if so, how? He goes on, the basic rule of a crisis is that you do not come out the same. If you get through it, you come out better or worse, but never the same. So he asks us to dream that our experience of this pandemic will challenge us face the moral issues of our age with renewed hope and encouragement, to face the issues of poverty, war, racism, sexism, the abuse of political and ecclesial power with a renewed, fresh approach. Our Holy Father says, we are in a time of trial. And in the trials of life, you reveal your own heart, how solid it is, how merciful, how big or how small. In times of trial, you have to choose. And in making your choice, you reveal your heart. Today, when I think back of that painting of Francis Xavier in his chapel, I'm struck by its serenity. As he lay dying, clutching the cross, denied the dream of evangelizing China as he had India and Japan. He is at peace because he has put himself entirely in God's hands. During this novena, we pray for that same gift while dreaming as Pope Francis asks of us of our part in a better world after this pandemic. But if we are able to do that, we must have the strength and the courage to, to place our hearts entirely in God's hands, as Francis Xavier did. He died joyful, not disappointed. We are going to persevere in joy with St. Francis Xavier as our model. Now I ask you to join me in the Novena Prayer. O most kind and loving saint, in union with you I adore the most divine majesty. The memory of the favors with which God blessed you during the, your life and of your glory after death fills me with joy. And I unite with you in offering to the Lord my humble tribute of thanksgiving and praise. I implore you to secure for me through your powerful intercession, the all important blessing of living and dying in the state of grace. I also ask you to obtain the favor I ask in this novena. If what I ask is not for the greater glory of God or the good of my soul, 
obtain for me what is most conducive to both. Amen. O oh God, who was pleased to gather to, into your church the peoples of the East by the preaching and miracles of St. Francis Xavier, mercifully grant that we who honor his glorious merits may also imitate the example of his virtues. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever.